Good evening, folks, and welcome to another edition of the Roger Report, the best show on social media. If you are new to the channel or you've been coming here for a while, hit that like button. Help the channel grow. So many people who need to get great content like this and an easy thing you can do to help make the world be a better place is share this content out. All right, folks, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk a little bit about public versus private. We as a people, sometimes we have altercations. And sometimes we do not handle altercations properly. One of the best things you can do to handle a different altercation properly, avoid it where you can. But if you do get into an altercation or a misunderstanding, now this goes for content creators. These go for just your everyday average people because more of us are doing things in the public at this point, meaning you're on YouTube, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram, you're on TikTok, you're on different social media, and you do or say things in the public. Now, every once in a while, we're going to have people who, who have a bigger disagreement. You know, people have small disagreements, but then people can have a bigger disagreement. Whatever you do, make sure you address the situation and try to correct it. Now, of course, you can't make anybody do something that they don't want to do. But what you can do, if you do get into it with a person, you can actually try to be the bigger person, whether you be man or woman, reach out to the person that you had an issue with and try to get the issue resolved. Now, I do recommend if you have something done in private, let your beef stay in private. There's no reason to make your beef known on a public platform, okay? That's not a good way to, to preserve a friendship of any kind, whether it's a strong friendship or whether it's not that strong of a friendship because the friendship is new, whether it's a person you know from your activities online or a person that you know through your, your, um, your real world life. doesn't make a difference, but you should at least attempt to keep any private situation a private situation, mm. which means we don't need to tell everybody about an altercation we had with a person that you see every day or you can see every day if you chose to. That's not the way to handle things. If it's if you have a private issue that comes up, re resolve your issue in private. Now, if you have a public issue come up, and you're going to be the bigger person. Make an apology or make an attempt to resolve the issue in a public fashion. Okay? This is something that we should be aware of. If you're going to show love to your own people, especially, if you have an altercation with that person in a public setting, what is the big deal about you apologizing in public to a person that you had an issue with? Okay? You don't even have to say that the person was right and what they were arguing, but you can apologize just for getting out of hand at a particular point. Sometimes, you know, people are yelling at each other, talking over each other. We let a beef go further than what it really needs to go to. And a lot of this stuff can really be dealt with and handled without that much effort, but somebody has to be the bigger person. Is it that big of a deal to you to be a bigger person? And you got to have an understanding. Is it good to create better relationships with people or or is it good to preserve relationships that you already have with somebody because when it comes down to it people are the things that we have the most we may not really look at it that way but that's what we have what do you have if you don't really have the people that's in your life okay and that's your online world or your your uh tangible world cuz you know people online and you know people in your tangible world. And that's something that we all have to get used to. Okay. I know everyone's not a celebrity, but everybody can be a minor celebrity because you can be a celebrity to the people in your circle. Meaning even if you're not a, a content creator, such as myself, you don't have a public voice. Well, technically your voice is public. If you participate on social media, if you are on these other sites where you give your opinions, even if you're just talking to your friends and family, you can have a situation come between you, your friends and your family. But if you have that situation, 
where something goes wrong in public, you should offer an apology in public. Some people don't want to do that because they want to save face. Why do you want to save face and not save a friendship? Why do you, would you rather save face than save a relationship? If you value the people in your life, what is it? What's more important to save? Face or the relationship? Now, if you ask me, if you, if the people are valuable to you, it's going to always be more important to save the relationship. Now, if I got to make an apology to save a relationship, what's the big deal? A lot of us, we we do act like <laughs> making an apology to somebody is 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 this monumentous thing or like it hurts so 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 bad and it doesn't you see i can apologize if i act out of pocket even if i'm right on what i'm talking about okay so i shouldn't really get into yelling matches with people trying to dominate somebody in any kind of real way that's not what i'm supposed to do if i call this person a friend okay it's okay to apologize to a person if you did something wrong. Does that mean you're wrong about your argument? No, but we can argue things with each other. We can talk to each other. We can have understandings with each other, and it doesn't have to go south. And even if it did go south for that moment, we can come back later on and correct the situation by offering an apology, not for your argument, but for your behavior during the argument. Okay, if you act like a jerk during the argument, apologize for being a jerk. You can still hold your position, but what's the big deal about apologizing for being a jerk? Black people especially should not start looking at other people like we're too good to respect that other person because that's what it comes out to at the end of the day. I don't like this person. I don't like that person. I'm not going to respect that person. Yeah, I got out of pocket, but I'm not going to offer an apology because I'm above that person. Is that really how black people should go around looking at other folks? I don't see myself as above somebody else. That's not the way I, I look at things. I can respect somebody's accomplishment. You know, I can respect somebody's status and things like that, but I don't really see anybody above me, but I don't really see anybody under me either. Okay, which means I'm not going to treat people like they're less than me. That is something I don't recommend people do. I I don't see what good is going to ever do you to treat somebody like they're lesser than you. It's, it's not a good look. But we do have to keep in mind that how we put things out is how we should resolve things. So now if you get into it with a person on a public platform, handle your business on a public platform. If you get into it in a private situation, Keep that situation private and get it resolved in private. The public doesn't need to know about every argument or every disagreement you had with every single person you had it with. You know, and there are people who've joined panels. And this is just an example because it counts in other situations, too. But there's people who join panels and then they'll have a beef with a person on the panel. And the person who's running the panel don't know nothing about their problems with each other, nor are they even concerned with the problems of the two parties and have a beef with each other. Well, we shouldn't live that way. And we do have to try to walk in some of the things that we say. Things are being preached. We got to walk into it. You know, I'm, I'm happy to say that there's two individuals who I found that had a beef with each other. And they actually dropped the beef. They talked to each other and dropped the beef. I know I asked both people to just reach out to the other person, talk about it, and get the situation resolved. And both of them have told me that the situation has been resolved, which is a great thing. Okay. We can have a better society if we choose to do the things that it takes to have that better society. But it is a decision we have to make. Okay. Those two people made their own decision to reach out to somebody else and get their issue resolved. And I'm happy they got it resolved. Now, I'm not going to say who the people are. Because that they had a private issue, so it ain't my job to make it public. Okay? The things that are said in public, I don't mind dealing with that from a public standpoint. But things that are kept in private, I keep that stuff private. And that's the way we should treat each other. 
Okay, if someone gives you some information in private, don't take their private information and make it public. If someone gives you information in public, don't be upset if they share that information with someone else in the public because you gave it to them in the public. So keep in mind what you're doing and what you're establishing whenever you have a relationship with a person and how things should be handled. If you tell somebody something in private, it should be kept in private. And if you tell someone something in public, then you shouldn't be mad if other people find out about this public information, even if it came through the person that you told, because you told it to them in public. So keep understand public public things, you know, can stay public, but private things should never be made public. Point blank, period. It's simple respect. We have to learn to respect each other at all times, regardless of how you see that other person. Respect other people for yourself because what you what you uh so eventually you will reap it. So when people tell me something in confidence, I keep it. Now if you tell me I can be public with it, sure I don't mind being public with it. Or if I want to make something public, I will ask, can I make it public? But I will ask that person in private if I can make it public. Because that's the proper way to handle things. So now that we have social media, we have a, you know, we everyone has a private life. Everyone has a private life. But there are some things about our lives that we make public depending upon what we do on social media. Even again, even if you're not a content creator, if you're on social media and you make comments here or there, or you put out pictures here or there, you put out videos here or there, this is all public. And we have to learn to respect each other's personal lives with their private lives versus their public lives. If I know something about somebody that's private to them, I'm not going to bring it to the public because that is not my job. Okay. And I'm going to respect other people's wishes about what they want to keep public and what they want to keep private. And if they do do something or say something that I want to use from a public standpoint, I'm going to ask that person's permission in private if I can make this thing public. And if they don't want me to use it, well, then I'll say, well, can I just say it without using names or any information that can lead to a person? And maybe they say yes. Maybe they say no. But whatever they say, I can respect that. But that's how we create good relationships with each other. And that's how we salvage a relationship from going bad. Because it's easy to destroy a relationship. But it takes years for some people to get their relationships at a certain point. And we have to learn to value the people that are around us and the people that we talk to, whether it's public or private. We have to value these people if we want them to stay in our lives. And we shouldn't look at everybody we talk to as a person of, of, I don't care if this person sticks around or not. What kind of life do you have if you don't care about the people who are part of your life? If everybody in your life is a person you don't value, what kind of life are you really leading at the end of the day? Okay. So I think that's something we should keep in mind. If it's a private matter, solve private matters privately. But if you have an issue with a person in public, resolve your issue in public. Okay? Now, every once in a while, you will be able to resolve something privately. But even if you resolve it privately, you should have a public apology because it shows how that you have respect for the other person. And you don't want to have a misunderstanding about people having respect for another person. If you're willing to do it publicly, you are you should be willing to apologize for it publicly. It's not the end of the world to make a public apology. All right. But I'm gonna leave it right there, y'all, and I'm gonna get on up out of here. Appreciate y'all for showing up. Uh shout out to Cool Gamer, Petway Boy, Dayu Amin Ra, Mr. Blackwell, Destro0861. Good, glad to see you all, and I will see y'all next time around. Long live the habitual last steppers. I'm Roger, I'm right, and I'm out.